The three most destructive wildfire seasons on record in the United States have occurred since 2017. California has relied heavily on training and deploying crews of incarcerated individuals to fight these devastating fires. But once they are home, there's little support for them to continue this much needed work. My name is Chris Janich, and I'm a director of photography working alongside director Kenzie Bruce on a documentary film about formerly incarcerated wildland firefighters in California. This film follows Brandon Smith and Royal Ramey, co-founders of the Forestry and Fire Recruitment Program, and two of the most inspirational people I've ever met. These men risked their lives fighting wildfires while imprisoned in California's penal system. Now, despite institutional barriers and mounting environmental dangers, they are training other former prisoners to become professional firefighters and join their new cell-phone fire department, the Buffaloes. This story is one that is fundamentally about social justice. It occurs within the framework of institutional discrimination and in the landscape of racial reckoning. It is also inherently about the environment. As global temperatures continue to rise, California has to confront the fact that it will face more and more extreme weather events, including wildfires. Working on the story meant being prepared to film with a wildland fire crew during active wildfire suppression. This meant filming in some of the most extreme conditions either of us had ever worked in. So to prepare, we became certified as type two wildland firefighters, passing the classroom exams and physical tests necessary to become red carded. It was also important for me to choose the right equipment, especially for working in smoke and intense heat, but also while running in the sand at Venice Beach or hiking with firefighters in training up the steep, rugged slope they affectionately called Huff and Puff. The Sackler Flotec carbon fiber legs were an obvious choice for me, being light enough to carry in my backpack for long hikes, and combined with the Active 10 head, I was able to set up and balance the tripod by myself in seconds. This attention to detail in their design helped me to work quickly in the field by making sure I was filming the shots I needed, but also staying safe in active fire conditions. Practically, I needed to be nimble enough to follow active wildfire suppression activities and self-sufficient enough to hike miles away from base camp without running out of battery power or replacing a faulty component. With Anton Bauer Dionic XT90 gold mount batteries and a small HD 503 ultra bright monitor, my camera was easily powered all day and I knew this gear had been designed to withstand extreme elements, so I felt comfortable pushing it through some of the most rugged days of filming that I've encountered. In choosing an equipment partner for this project, it was important for us to build relationships with brands whose values and actions aligned with those featured in our film. We knew we could trust that our Sackler, Anton Bauer, wooden camera, and small HD equipment was coming from brands committed to reducing their carbon emissions and waste. Ultimately, choosing quality products doesn't just mean that I'm set up for success while in the field. It also means that I have gear that will last through many projects beyond this one. In an industry where there can be so much waste and short-lived equipment, it lessens our environmental impact to choose gear that will stand the test of time. 